Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, we're going to talk about some products that I recently purchased at Ulta.com and Sephora.com. I've had these products, mostly my Sephora products, for a little while. I just haven't used them um, and was waiting to get this Ulta box for like the longest time. But I was holding on to the Sephora products just so that I could do this haul for you. These aren't necessarily all new products that have just recently hit the market but they are new to me and they're products that I've been wanting to try out but haven't had a chance to just because I have you know quite a bit of other products that I still wanted to use up before buying a new set of products so without further ado let's get started with this haul and first I'm going to start with the Ulta box let's start with skincare but the Mario Badescu skincare sell you firm drops And I used these last night. Um, I just used the tiniest amount and just kind of spread it beneath the eye area. Um, I got these just because I needed an eye serum. And I didn't want to spend over $100 on an eye serum. I used to do that before, but I can't afford to do that anymore. But this firms tightens and smooths skin. Oh, this is a daily or overnight anti-aging serum that is safe for all over the face and eye area. It will uh, plump collagen and elastin, tone moisture levels and elasticity. Twice daily after cleansing and toning massage, four to five drops on the face and neck so you can use this not just under the eye area but you can use it all over the face however I am just going to use this beneath the eye area as, as I do have a number of facial serums that I don't want to add another one so this is going to be used just for my eyes and I did use this last night like I said and I really liked the consistency of the product it doesn't have a scent it just comes out green just like that after you massage it, it has a little bit of a luminosity. It is quickly absorbed by the skin. And then I also got the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. I do have another one of these that I um, wanted to replace this with just because I'm running like super low. Um, but I've used this before and I really like the results. I like to use this a couple of times a week. Um, I do use a more hydrating toner on a regular basis, but when I'm feeling really congested or really oily, I do like to go in with a glycolic based toner. And next I got the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage weightless feel foundation <laughs> is that the whole title um l'oreal paris infallible total cover foundation this is supposed to last about 24 hours and i got it in the shade 308 which is sun beige i totally guessed my skin tone on the website it's always so hard to buy foundations online but i totally guessed um and i hope this matches so there's a little sample of what the foundation looks like it's got a very moussey texture. I don't know if I'm going to like it. That is what that looks like applied. It doesn't have a scent, which is always nice. And it's really lightweight. So yeah, I hope to try this in a future video, let you know how I feel about the foundation, how it works on my skin. Next, I got the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I do prefer a dewy finish for winter as far as um, my makeup is concerned. Um, and I did spray this before I started filming and it, I mean, it looks pretty nice. I have a little blemish here, excuse that. Um, I don't know if it will make my foundation or my makeup last longer throughout the day. I will definitely be sure to use this tomorrow when I go into work and see how um, it makes my foundation hold up throughout the day. And next from NYX, I got the um, Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. Oh, and this has got a six month shelf life. What about you? Six months doesn't say. All right, six months. Treat your skin to this ultra velvety oil-free primer. It feels lighter than a cloud and leaves skin looking and feeling divine. That's what that looks like. It's white. Oh, pretty. It does feel like a cloud. Has a very, very minimal scent, but nothing too strong. 
but yeah, it definitely makes your skin feel softer and like a cloud. Ooh, that is pretty. And next I got, um, <laughs> this is kind of lame. Um, I got the Maybelline eyelash curler refill what that looks like in case you're wondering um and this is you know just kind of a purchase that you need to make at least maybe every two months a very random times um whenever you feel like your eyelash curler is not curling your lashes properly it's probably time to replenish your eyelash curler um but yeah i think these were like three bucks or something at ulta.com item i'm really excited to use that one and then for my next item i got the Too faced proactive nourishing hangover rx it's infused with coconut water probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers this is a replenishing face primer and it, it is silicone free um i know this has been out for a very very long time i guess in the makeup world um, and I've always wanted to try it. I've decided to go on and purchase other primers instead, but this time I decided to just bite the bullet and get the Too Faced Hangover RX. It's because I am running out of my Smashbox primer water and I really just wanted to try something else. And the only reason I bought it really is because I got it in an Ipsy Glam Bag and I loved the results of it. I loved how my skin felt hydrated and refreshed. And I loved the way that my makeup looked uh, when this was my base. So I, you know, decided to purchase this. And the next item I got is the Tarte Tartist Pro Glow. Tarte Tartist? Tartist? And again, something that I like about Tarte is that their products or at least this specific one, and I know that a lot of their other products as well, they're formulated without parabens, miner mineral oil, phthalates, triclosan, sodium lauryl sulfate, gluten, and they are dermatologist tested, and they are cruelty free. I could seriously love them so much for that. I thought it would be a much larger palette. I haven't been I haven't been into an Ulta store in a while, so I had no clue how big or how small this was going to be. But this is what the palette looks like. And that is what she looks like. So you have two sculpting shades or two contouring shades and the rest are highlighting shades but these are really pretty shades and it's so cute. I love the packaging and the feel. It's not, I think it's great for all of the products that it does contain. And then the final item that I got from Ulta is the Sweet Peach palette. You know I'm so late to the game but and it already smells like peach in here. Oh it's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, it's so pretty. These shades are so pretty. OMG. I can't wait to play with this. It's so cute. really did want to get this palette when it first released, but it sold out so fast. Or maybe it didn't sell out fast and I was just thinking too much about it and I didn't end up getting it when it was first released. But I am so excited to try this. And now for the items I got from Sephora. Um, I got the Origins Plant Scriptions Powerful Lifting Overnight Mask. This is formulated without parabens, phthalates, glycol, mineral oil, petroleum, any synthetic colors or animal ingredients, which is amazing. Now, I have had this for I think two weeks now, and this is what it looks like. I have used this a couple of times, and I love it this. I feel like every time I use this um, in the morning after my skin wakes up feeling more refreshed and it does look a little bit more plump and lifted, this absorbs super quickly onto the skin no matter what I put underneath this. This is kind of like what I top everything off when I use this mask and I bought this to replace the fresh uh, mask that I talked about in my skincare beauty favorites of 2016 video just because I wanted to try something new and I think this was one of Origins newest skincare products 
so I wanted to give it a go and I also wanted to try this mask out because I've been trying out the Plantscriptions uh, by Origins, their anti-aging eye cream right beneath the eye area and I've been loving the results that I've gotten so I thought why not? why not invest in this so i totally did and i love it we have the uh mirad city skin overnight detox moisturizer this detoxifies skin and helps to visibly reduce lines and wrinkles this is part of their environmental shield line this is supposed to detox and revitalize skin overnight this is supercharged with antioxidants and it's going to strength strengthen your skin's uh, barrier while you sleep. The vitamin C here helps to brighten and even out your tone while nourishing botanicals. Plump the skin to visibly reduce lines and wrinkles. You'll wake up to radiant, healthy looking skin. And that is true. And this is what she looks like outside of her packaging. It's really nice. I think Mirad is definitely stepping up their game as far as packaging and product is concerned. You open this jar and all you have to do is press the i guess the top here and the product just rises up and that's all that you need for an entire face and neck application i think that's super awesome i don't think i've seen that before um and if it's been done well it's been done but i think that for dr mira to have done that to this moisturizer is pretty awesome um, I have used this actually um, I think twice already as well and I really like the results. This has no scent which is awesome um, and it penetrates the skin super quickly and it's really really lightweight. It doesn't feel too heavy on my skin and it doesn't look too oily or too dewy on the skin. I'm excited to see what kind of results I get with this moisturizer. Um, I really was in search of a nighttime moisturizer as I'd just kind of been using up Deluxe Eye samples that I've gotten from, say, um, Cashing In Points, uh, products that I'd gotten in Sephora or Ipsy bags. So I'm really excited that I got this moisturizer. This is from Drunk Elephant um, and I got the AHA Moment Trio here. Um, I did use the... Uh, C Firm Day Serum. That, that's why you can't see it in there. Um, I used it on Tuesday for the first time and I really liked it. Um, my face kind of felt a little bit itchy around the jawline later on in the evening, but it didn't interact with my makeup throughout the day. Um, I just felt a little itchy, that's all. Um, and then it also comes with a deluxe size sample of the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. Which looks like that and the reason why I got this is the TLC Frambu's glycolic night serum to refine and regenerate this has 12% um, alpha hydroxy acid blend so this is supposed to refresh and hydrate and resurface dull congested skin by gently lifting away dead cells and revealing an even tone and radiant complexion. And look at all those cool little icons there. This has a shelf life of 24 months and it's cruelty free, which I love and that is awesome. Now for a tool, I got the Nude Beauty Blender. I don't I don't know why I bought this, but I got the Nude Beauty Blender. <laughs> I feel like I have the pink one and that one is totally totally been used since I got it, so I decided why not pick up a new one. And then I got um the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder. I got it in the shade Natural. And this is a repurchase for me. This is what the shade looks like. I loved this bronzer while I had it and I repurchased it because the other one I had had exceeded its shelf life so it was expired. So I definitely um, needed a new one 
and I got it. So this is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Natural. And I got this just because I felt like I am in a little bit of a bronzing rut. So I wanted to give myself more options. And then last but not least, I repurchased the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium Neutral. And I've repurchased this multiple times before. I think, I think this is the fourth tube I've um, purchased of this concealer. I like it way too much. And maybe this will help to quench my love affair with the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer that everyone has been loving since it's release. And that is it for this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at all of the products I've recently purchased. I'm excited to try all of them and I will keep you up to date on how I feel um, in regards to this, these products, especially the um, skincare. And be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these products before and what your thoughts are on them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.